Hello everybody and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we're going to go ahead and start up on part number three of this lesson where we left off. So we're going to go ahead and select our E3 text here and we're going to go ahead and go into our rotation settings. And as you can see here we can actually rotate this text um, and we're going to go ahead and keyframe this right here. Go back to the beginning and we're just going to simply put in one rotation here. So now the text kind of rotates up and into position as it's all coming together really nice. That's real simple, something you can do. Looks good. We'll leave it alone from that. So now we're basically done. The only thing we need to do is go ahead and drag the dust above the other layer so our text and stuff is kind of behind it. And this will be a cool effect because the dust actually goes over it as you can see there. So the next thing we need to do is we need to kind of light the scene. And I've chosen to do this a little bit differently. Today we're actually going to use a um, solid um, object here. And we're just going to call this optical. And we're then going to um, type in optical over here. And we're going to actually make this be an optical flare. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and go to add as well. And you can see there the light is. And then we're going to click on options. And under the presets, we have many different presets we can choose from. Um, let's go ahead and let's look at uh, natural flares. I got the Michael Bay look, blue digital. I'm kind of digging. Let's see here. Let's go with um, let's go with this one. I really like this one. So we're gonna go ahead and hit OK, and you can see there that it's it's in there. But we need to go ahead and put the source type as um, 3D. And what this will do is um, when we animate our camera positioning, because we're we're going to, it will kind of go with it. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. We're gonna create a new camera here. And I just have the basic settings, 28 millimeter, hit OK, looks good. And we're going to go ahead and go over here to our um, Track Z Camera tool. And we're going to go ahead and go to the um, Transform options here. And we'll go ahead and keyframe our position. And we're going to go to where our animation kind of ends. And let's see here. So it's going to be this one. All right. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go ahead and zoom in here. And then we're going to go back over to here to the where the kind of where the end over here is. And you'll see we can go ahead and zoom out to where our objects all kind of come into space here. Like this. About like that. So now we kind of have this whole scene kind of working together to where our um, objects all kind of come together. So now we can actually do a couple different things. We're going to go ahead and switch over to, um, let's see here, uh, four views here. And um, we're going to go ahead and we're on our optical. So let's go ahead and create a new um, null object here. And you can see here it's kind of placed. We're going to go hit P for position. And we're going to go ahead and click on the position tool here and go back all the way over to here. And now we can actually drag this around, as you can see here, so that it kind of comes off the screen, maybe up a little bit, kind of like this. And we can change our beginning point to kind of come from behind the text and go up through it like this. And now we can go ahead and click on optical and the source type we can put to... Um, track lights and this should have actually been a light I actually did, did that by accident so let's go ahead and redo this here make this a light and we'll just put this as a um, point light that's fine P for position and we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of um, like this Make this go up over here in the corner. Why are you moving? There we go. So we're going to go ahead and um, go to the beginning keyframe. We'll go ahead and keyframe that. We'll go back over to here. And then we can... Um, went a little far with it there. Over here on the side view. We'll uh, bring... Whoa, wrong one. We'll bring this optical flare over 
and kind of down like this. So now everything's kind of working in one fluid motion together, as you can see. All right, just like that. Now, the only thing that doesn't really make sense here, um, now that our scene is basically lit, is that we, let's go to one view here, active camera is the one we want. Everything looks pretty good, but it, it looks a little bit plain um, overall. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and new, create an adjustment layer, and we'll go ahead and type uh, looks over here, and this will allow us to drop um, a plugin also by Video Copilot onto the um, presentation here, and we'll have these different filters we can use. And again, the one that I decide on will be the, in the um, the download below, so don't worry about that. But we're gonna actually go ahead and just uh, select through these here, so I can kind of see how they look. And I actually really like that one. It's JSHD6. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit finish on that. And now you can see when we zoom through this everything really looks good now the only thing I don't like is these clouds which is our dust here so I'm gonna go ahead and go to um, hue and saturation and drop that onto that and now I can actually go ahead and adjust the uh, hue and saturation of these clouds a little bit to kind of further match my uh, um, thing and you can see here they're kind of like green clouds which looks pretty cool and that looks great just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this lesson here. Um, this will be part, I believe, three. And we're going to go ahead and pick up in the next one with actually adding some sound effects to this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Be sure to stick with us. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll see you all later. It's pixelforlife.com.